Hello everyone, this is Mia on Vidi Learning. And anyway, today we will be going over how to create a thumbnail in iMovie just through the software itself. So right now we're just, I have a clip already selected and down in the sequence area. And so right now we are just going to go through the short video and look for an image that I like. I really like this one with the colors and everything. And so to create a thumbnail, you just go to titles, Let's see if we can find a few. Now, you do have to be careful in creating a thumbnail on iMovie. This is really just something very simple if you want to do like simple text or anything like that as it's not as complicated or as ideal as many other editing softwares. You can do this through Photoshop. You could do this through any kind of um, editing software from Canva to Procreate, anything like that. You can also create thumbnails like this. But anyway, we are just going to look through all the title screens, but you have to be careful about iMovie title screens because they do have animation and the animation can distract or mislead and may not fit the feel of the video that you wish to post. And not only that, but because of the animations, it does skew it. So right now, I like this one. I'm going to put it down here. I like chromatic. Now, chromatic does have an animation at the beginning of the title. So I'm going to try to counter that. So that way, when we hit the frame that I like, it will not, it will be solid and not in midst of its animation. Okay, now let's check it. Let's see if I have the right spot. So I'm just going to drag the playhead over. And I did not get it correctly, as you can see, it, it's not full in form because this is simply you just want the image to look right for your thumbnail. So now I reset it and now I'm going to click the text and we're going to edit it. So here you have the font, sizing, position, and color. And so I, I'm going to look at the fonts. We're just going to look at them really quick. I kind of like the one that we have, so I'm just going to click it, keep it. Now, you cannot really move the text when you in this software. So the text is stuck where it is. That can be very frustrating, but there are other titles that have different positions to do. So like my other thumbnail video, um, which was on Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm going to use this hypothetical thumbnail as moving out blog. Many YouTubers and and bloggers do this where they'll put a scene of the video and add text over it later on. This is an image of my neighborhood, but so I like the way it looks and now I just want to change the color. So we are going to go and click on it one more time. Just check everything out before I change the color and click the color block. And now we have this color wheel that pops up and you can change the brightness and we are going to go for a yellow, much like the other video, so it'll stand out against the purple and orange in the background. And so there I chose it. And now we're just going, this can be tricky, you do have to be careful, especially if you're trying to color only one word in this kind of software. But so we are just going to recheck everything one more time. And so you correct the color. I'm going to exit and I'm going to click on it and enter and there's the color. Now when you're editing the text, it will move. It won't be in the same position as it will be. As you can see the text when editing it was more middle, but now it's the area that we want it to be positioned to the left. And then from here, simply all we're going to do is to take a screenshot of it to create the thumbnail. It can be that simple we are going to expand it and watch the video. So we click the expand button and play. Now from here, this is the scene that we want. Let's just make sure we have the right time. It's easier to know the time that you need. If you look at the, the if you know the minute and second exactly, it'd be much easier to grab. So we're going to go to the spot of the image that we want here. And then from here, just position it perfectly. And for this, I'm on OS, so I'm going to shift command four to get the clipping tool. And as you can see, it's right there. From here, we're just going to screenshot this entire 
image. And the text is nice and big. And then we have it for ourselves. And when you continue editing, if you want to edit this more, just get rid of the title. Anyway, this has been How to Create a Thumbnail. Thank you for watching. Bye.